What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com here. So today, gotta give a big shout out to my buddy here at Island RC Duke. So he sent me some stickers. I gotta get a sticker wall, bro. Um, but he has it here. He says, hey brother, thanks for all that you do for the RC community. Thanks for being a good friend. Here's a couple stickers just to say thank you, brother. Uh, Island RC Duke. So definitely appreciate that one. I'm gonna have to get some stickers for you sent out. Um, I gotta get some stamps. I don't do so much on the stamp thing, so gotta get those out there. But uh, yeah, okay, so let's get into this car that we got here in front of us. Both these cars, I'm gonna get out of the way a little bit here so we can see both of them. Anyway, both of these were sent in from to me to do a review from Banggood. Um, so I know some people had some questions, concerns in regards to shipping time, how, th how they communicate, if there's any issues. I'm gonna go over what I'm gonna go out over that stuff at the end of this video, so you're gonna have to stay tuned to the end, or you can skip to the very end of it, and I'll let you guys know in regards to all that stuff. But for right now, let's go ahead, talk about this thing real quick before we go ahead and get this thing on the road. I got a GoPro mount, so we'll see how fast it is. But keep in mind, this thing is not an RTR, this was a kit, so yours will vary as far as depending on what electronics you stick in yours, but at least give you an idea of how fast it goes with my setup. Um, so speaking of that, this is the Thunder ZTX-10. So pretty cool, this is from ZT, ZD Racing. So definitely appreciate them sending me these RC cars from Banggood. Uh, so I can you know show them off to you guys, I think it's really cool. Um, so this has the Valenion system from Traxxas in it. This came out of a Rustler 4x4 VXL. So if you had one of those or what have you, kind of give an idea. Anyway, that one, and I have a 15 kilogram servo this is from red cat and as far as the pinion gear that's in it and the spur gear they're just standard stock stuff that comes in this kit so no changes on that part of it it's i believe yeah it's a 48 pitch that's in there also so that's that i will be running these batteries here i got a gens ace 5000 milliamp and i got a venom 5000 50c discharge these are both 50c discharge both got the t style connections that's on there so i got to bring my little adapter because i still have the traxxas one that's on there for right now Gotta remember that. Um, all right, so let's get into seeing how fast this thing goes, how it handles.
that was a lot of fun so we're gonna have to clean that thing up all cleaned up now okay so uh, I ran it on a 2s just real quick and then I ran it on a 3s so we'll see I don't know what the speeds are so hopefully my GoPro actually picked up those speeds I had an issue before with it so we'll see but all in all all seems to be pretty good with it now because I was running in all that sand and everything like that the system actually overheated so that's the Valenion system it just can't handle that heat man it's that summer heat man in Florida so plus on top of that all that sand in there adding to the weight so it's kind of to be expected um, let's see it didn't, I didn't have any rollovers or anything like that but my stickers are starting to come off man because once you get a little sand underneath there it just that's it now uh, the pinion gear did come off on this car and uh, it's no fault of anybody's but myself just because I didn't have it tightened enough I thought I used a little Loctite which I know I did but for whatever reason it just wasn't on there well enough so I brought some tools with me thankfully and was able to make the repair so now you can see inside here too as far as those gears you can see how it's roughed up and it had actually started walking on me again so everything's cleaned up pretty well all in all uh, let me give you as far as my thoughts on it. it seems to be pretty decent I mean no fault of the pinion gear coming off so other than that seems to be pretty good yeah as far as the chassis on it is kind of loose on there I did I know someone else did mention there's another up, uh, a little bit higher up model from ZD racing that has aluminum chassis and everything like that so might be one to check out later on but for right now you know this is like I think it's something like a right around well I'll put a link in the description below like I, I've been doing with these particular cars too or any of my other cars that I have videos on um, now I know some people were asking about shipping on from Banggood so before I get into anything I know Banggood they are doing their 13th anniversary they let me know to uh, you know see if you guys are interested in that but uh, let me give you a little background too besides just the anniversary of Banggood would be the fact that uh, how things are shipped with Banggood anyhow in my two times experience here things being shipped and watching other youtubers as well that they could improve definitely on their shipping and handling what I mean by that is that when they like this kit came with just parts thrown into the box right they were some of them were in a little there was one bag that held all like the spur gear all the little screws and everything like that but all the tires were in there and it was just kind of bouncing all around the chassis was all thrown around and you know it did scratch up the body a little bit here too in shipping so that's that now how long was shipping on this it was probably around like five days it came from actually I'm here in the US and I'm in Florida and it came from somewhere in Canada so they do have different spots they are not just coming from overseas but they do have already places here that uh, you know they can ship these products out so a lot of stuff came quick I was really surprised like this came like within a week's time as well so everything was super quick on it in my experience okay and not Amazon quick where it's like one or two days okay so uh, real shipping you know so that's that on that part of it now uh, also as far as just to kind of go over this one too because maybe some people had some questions concerns or whatnot uh, my only concern really is the quality of what they do I mean there's we're talking these prices are very cheap anyhow but um, so don't you can't expect a whole lot but again as far as these tires they do camber out which means that they are just kind of pointing outward and some are worse I have a friend that his were out even worse if you were kind of looking at it, it was like really bad so he took some pictures contacted Banggood and I'm waiting to hear what he has to say and what they had to say about his issue so Banggood if you're listening um, that would be one thing that you need to uh, check on quality on that part of it too I know my wings messed up this thing flipped and everything else so uh, yeah that's it's a good vehicle I think these aren't bad vehicles they are not bad there's a lot of stuff that's even better out there but for the price uh, you can always opt for other RCs as well but these things sell quite a bit and take it for what it's worth on that part of it the electronics are in here and obviously you're gonna get different stuff depending on what you put in there and the chassis is soft so there might be another option as far as maybe if you're looking for something a little bit higher premium you can look for the other ZD racing stuff too but also not to just keep plugging bang good but and I definitely appreciate their support as far as sending me things to review definitely appreciate that um, nice to be acknowledged and also as far as our website you know omgrc.com we have lots of different RC vehicles we got Kyosho we have team associated we have Kyosho 
we have Tamiya, we have Red Cat, we have Habao. I'm working on Habao to get more stuff on that one. Um, but lots of other brands too, just brands that you don't see here, but there's all kinds of stuff. Pitbull tires. Um, Venom Racing, definitely appreciate Venom Racing. They actually sent me these batteries here to uh, take a look at, check them out. So I definitely appreciate Venom Racing for that one. They got nice stuff. You gotta pay a premium, but they do have nice batteries. Um, and especially if you guys that don't like to solder and you're looking for other alternatives, I mean, Venom has different connections that already come with it. So you have things like the XT60s, you have the Tamiya, I think, it, uh, not Tamiya cart connections, but it does have, uh, what else? Traxxas connections that are on there, the T-style or Dean-style connections. So a lot of different stuff there. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. This is a really long video, but I wanted to kind of give you guys as much information as possible. Until next time, Check us out at omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. Sign up for our newsletter so that way you don't miss out on some of the deals that we have to offer for you guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share us with your friends if you thought it was informative. Until next time, I'll catch you on the next video. You guys take care and thank you for watching.